Hi everyone, my name is Elizabeth. I'm an undergraduate at Tufts University and this summer I worked in the Mathematics and Computer Science Department at Argonne National Laboratories. Uh, my work focused on improving the MPAS Ocean AMOC forecast, which at present is incredibly weak when compared with ground truce and then also other forecasting models that we have. And we wanted to determine the sensitivity of MPAS Ocean's outputs to its input parameters in order to assess what we might be able to do on that end of things to um, alter and, or improve the overall predictions. However, at this time, MPAS Ocean is assumed to be non-differentiable. Um, our solution to this was to build a surrogate neural network that we could back propagate through to estimate the model sensitivities. In order to do this, we needed data um, to, in order to train these models. So we set up SOMA, which is an idealized version of MPAS Ocean, um, and created pr uh, parameter ensembles by setting up individual experiments of SOMA for uniform samplings of parameters that we determined were crucial for the transfer of heat and salinity with input from oceanographers and climatologists. The purpose of this was to train models holding all but one input parameter constant in order to determine the effect that that specific parameter had on overall outputs. We also wanted to understand how the input interactions impacted the output, so we set up a Latin hypercube sampling of these parameters as well. SOMA was simulated for each parameter experimental setup for three years, with data only being collected for the last year at daily increments. Each SOMA setup took approximately one hour to run, uh, and since we had several hundred parameter setups per sampling technique, we paralyzed, parallelized the runs on Perlmutter using Python. It should be noted that Perlmutter improved the runtime by approximately two-thirds when compared with Argonne's CPU-only beep-up. Data cleaning was also conducted on Perlmutter. To make the size manageable for training, data was spatially interpol interpolated to a latitudinal and longitudinal grid. Because our grid was a curved surface with depths for each layer, we also had to apply a mask to remove null values that resulted from the Earth's curvature, um, which, was, uh, which was done using metadata provided in the initial SOMA runs. Despite the effort that was put into developing uh, relatively computationally inexpensive methods for doing this, it was still incredibly computationally complex, and because of the size of the data, the value of the supercomputing resources of NERSC was frankly incalculable. <coughs> The end result was data that can be seen in this figure that I have, um, which varies spatially over the region and then also changes with time. This is just one example for one variable, the variable being salinity in this case, and just one combination of parameters that we, uh, that we simulated for. Um, the data has since been used to great success to build and train a surrogate neural network for MPAS Ocean, which my collaborator Yishuan will speak on more tomorrow. I want to thank NERSC the Impacts Project, and Argonne Labs for their support and resources that went into this project. And I'll stick around afterwards in case anybody has any questions, but thank you.